Hi guys, what's up? My name is Anil and in this React Navigation video tutorial, we will see how we can add a button in the React Navigation header. So now let's get started. Yes, one more thing. Uh, this is our the fifth video of this the React Navigation fifth version video tutorial. If you want to watch over the four previous videos, then link is given in the description box. So these are the four uh, major points of the video. So first of all, we will use the use layout effect uh, this is a hook in the react and this will help us to add a button inside the header right i will show you that how after that we will um, use our own press event and on in in this own press event we will change a state and we will see that how event will work in the header as well so now let's start so i am just going to uh, okay what happened okay so let's uh, close this file because previously i'm working something here all right so let's open it so here you can see that this is the home screen and here i am just going to add a button so uh, first of all i am just going to uh, add the hook so just use here show uh, react dot use layout effect and as you know most of the hooks are using the callback function this is also doing the same so in this um a callback function we will call the navigation dot set options so set options is basically a, a function which take the object as in parameter so here let's add a key with the header right that means the header uh, uh, right position all right so here we will um simply call a arrow function and in this arrow function we will add a button simply like this button okay so you, we have to use a bracket also yep and here let's add the title and in the title i am just going to show you uh, count plus all right i can make the c capital and after that uh, this parameter actually uh, use effect parameter will accept the two parameters so let's add them also one is the uh, navigation why navigation props i'm sharing because it have to just add some event and all so uh, this is required here and the second one is also the state that i want to change i will show you how so first of all let's uh, import the use effect use uh, sorry not use effect um, use state basically just import the use state and uh, this use state we have to destruct inside the const so let's take the two parameter as a basic count and set count all right and use state uh, oh no it's not use state choose state and the default value can be zero or one whatever you want after that i have to pass this uh, set count here because i have to uh, use it with the event and now use own press and with the own press i am just going to use uh, set count and if i am just going to directly update it count plus one then actually it will not going to work properly as we seen that state is work with that view also uh, okay so now actually why they are showing so let's uh, fix it for the entire file now perfect so let's uh, show this state in a text also like this so i can just show the count here by default value zero but this is not visible properly that's why i can add a little bit style like phone size can be like 40 is it good yes but uh, i have to choose a style like this okay so if i'm just going to click on it it will work only once it will not going to work again that's why i just need to choose the uh, you can say that uh, uh, callback function inside the set count because this is the async state and here simply we have to use uh, let's say I am just going to pass here C parameter C means count all right 
and uh, it will be C plus one. All right. So now let's check it out. Mm, two, three, four, five. This is working fine. Nice. So can I add the two buttons here? Yes, you can add. So if directly you want to add the button, then it will give you the error. How? Let's see like this because we need a wrapper on the both button because uh, the root component should be only one. So now we have a two. So let's uh, make it a minus and uh, here I can just minus one like this. So this is not coming properly in the header, but uh, still we can adjust for a moment. So here you can see that it's the state is decreasing, state is increasing and that's awesome. I can also add the header uh, left also like this. So let's refresh it and you will see the both button here. But uh, most of the people uh, like to use it on the only right side because uh, the left side we have a uh, uh, you know the title of it all right so even you can uh, uh, use the two uh, the both way also left and right as well but for a moment i am just like to use only right side right and let's remove one more button and this is awesome so this is all about that how we can use the button and here even you can use the input box and whatever you just want to use it's all about the events and all so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care